More bombshells are coming out ahead of Sunday's interview with Harry and Meghan. It is their first time speaking publicly since they quit their royal duties. Markle told Oprah Winfrey that Buckingham Palace would not allow her to speak for herself. CBS 2's Danya Backus has more. It's really liberating to be able to have the right and the, the privilege in some ways to be able to say yes. I'm, and, and to I'm ready say to it for talk. yourself. To say it for and yourself. And not to have to consult with anybody at this point. Yeah, to be able to just make a choice on your own and just be able to speak for yourself. In the royal couple's first interview since moving to California in 2020, Meghan Markle tells Oprah Winfrey Buckingham Palace shut down Winfrey's request for an interview prior to her 2018 wedding to Prince Harry. Mm -hmm. What is right about this time? Um, well, so many things um, that were on the other side of a lot of a lot of life experience mm -hmm. that's happened, and also that we have the ability to make our own choices. Winfrey calls the interview the most important one she's ever done. Were you silent or were you silenced? She said no topic was out of bounds. Some royal watchers are questioning the timing. Harry's 99-year-old grandfather, Prince Philip, has been hospitalized for nearly three weeks and just underwent a heart procedure. And the couple's relationship with the royals was already tense. On Wednesday, the palace said it was launching an investigation after a newspaper report said former aides accused Meghan of bullying. During the interview, Harry spoke frankly about his concerns for his family, citing parallels to his late mother, Princess Diana's life. I'm just really relieved and happy to be sitting here talking to you with my wife by my side because I can't begin to imagine what it must have been like for her going through this process by herself all those years ago because it has been unbelievably tough for the two of us, but at least we had each other. The two-hour special airs Sunday night at 8 on CBS and Paramount+. Plus. Donya back is CBS News. Now, in an appearance last week, Harry told James Corden the British press was, quote, toxic and destroying his mental health. Harry told Oprah he worried history would repeat itself, referring to the relentless press attention his late mother received up until the minute of her death. Now, to hear more about why Harry and Meghan broke ties with the royal family, watch Oprah with Meghan and Harry, a CBS primetime special. That's Sunday night at 8 o'clock right here on CBS 2. So what are you guys doing Sunday night, 8 o'clock? Yeah, I'm watching. Where are you going to be? Raise your hand if you're going to be watching. Everybody's Very watching. interested. People will be talking. Mm -hmm. this, it looks really good. It looks it's really an interesting great. topic, man. It's just an interesting Absolutely. topic. Absolutely. You got it. I mean, everyone's dissecting what she's wearing, mm -hmm. sending messages. I mean, All let's just watch things. it already. And kind of, it's a lot like, of things <laughs> going on. Don't but miss you know it. what I think is interesting is, okay, so he stepped back from royal life, but yet he's still on the depth chart yeah. to be king. Yeah. It's kind of having it both ways. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. Just saying. Our official royal slash meteorologist. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with, his, with his two cents. <laughs> let's, let's be real. I work in probabilities. That's Thanks what I that. do. Thanks.